Hey guys, what is up? Uh, I know this is a random video, out of nowhere kind of, but I kind of wanted to do a little update, I guess. Um, I just got back from a comic convention. Um, I got back from Pensacon. Uh, that's uh, in Pensacola, Florida. Um, that's kind of, you know, it's on the Gulf Coast. But um, this is a, a, a video just showing some of my recent acquisitions. Um, <clears throat> yeah, like I said, today I just got back from Pensacon. I'm exhausted. Um, I cosplayed as Kylo Ren. I took a ton of pictures, some of which I will probably put in this video. <clears throat> there goes my voice. Wow. But uh, anyway, just wanted to kind of update um, with you guys about what my recent acquisitions are. So, um, I will go ahead and say, first things first, these first three things are not from today. Um, these first three things are from, you know, within the past couple weeks. But, um, anyway, I will go ahead with the first item. And some of you may criticize me, but I had to open him. I found, um, this guy. The new 6 inch Django Fett. I love him. I had to open him. I had to. Like, I just, he was sitting there on my on my dresser in the box, and I just couldn't take it anymore. I had to open him up. He is, I, I can't describe how awesome he is. He's just so great. This figure, first of all, looks great. The weathering is awesome. He just looks awesome. That Django just is awesome. I love Django Fett. But, um, of course, I grew up with the prequels, so I love the prequels. I know some people out there just absolutely hate them. Uh, I like them for what they are. I do realize that they're not... But the acting is very wooden in general by most, well, by a lot of people, and the writing's not very good. But for what they were for the time and the 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 expansive nature of the of the films, like for CGI and stuff like that, and all the stuff you see, I liked it as a kid. <clears throat> the spectacle was great for me as a kid because as a kid you don't really care about story; you just want to see a whole lot of stuff. But anyway, <clears throat> there we go. There's my voice. But yes, there's Django. He is awesome. He's probably my favorite Black Series figure to date, probably. But, <clears throat> going away from American... No, 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 I'll, I'll save that. Okay, I'll, I'll stay I'll stay with this. Found him, too, of course. He's starting to warm the pegs here. I don't know why. <clears throat> I've actually seen about four or five of these. So, I'm surprised, because I think he's a really cool figure. Um, I'm going to keep him boxed, of course. All the rest of my Force Awakens figures... I've kept boxed um, so far, um, so yeah, but I found um, Old Han, and of course Finn and Phasma, Dad bought Finn and Phasma, I already have Phasma, but I wanted Finn, and I wanted to buy Old Han, but all I could afford at the time was Mr. Django, so um, I came back and got this when I got my next paycheck, and you know, of course Han was gone, but um, yeah, <clears throat> there we go, and now we're traveling on over to Japan, with the SH Figure Arts Kylo Ren. He is amazing. The detail on this figure is just bar none. It is just unparalleled. It is, I don't know. Of course, I, ha I have nothing but praise to say about SH Figure Arts. Now, I did do the Black Series modification. I did do that. Um, I hated the plastic robe and the big, huge hood that came with him. Um, it's still a great figure, but I hated it, so I did the Black Series mod. Um... Yeah, so he looks great now with this mod. Um, let me kind of, yeah. The articulation is crazy on these guys. Like I even say that it's so crazy you can even bend their toes. And that's not even, that's not even lying like you really can. <laughs> so, um, SH Figure Arts always has something great to, to put out for Star Wars. I want the Phasma and I want Obi-Wan. Just don't have the money for them yet. So, that is that. And you can still see my, uh, my Pentacon bracelet. But uh, anyway, <clears throat> on to what I got from today. And I didn't get these two from the convention. The only thing I got from the con convention was a t-shirt. It was It's a Bioshock-themed t-shirt. Uh, uh, I don't know if a lot of you know, but I love Bioshock, the game, video game series. It's probably my favorite uh, story mode game out there, Bioshock, the original. But anyway, um, I will also uh, show you this first figure that I got. I didn't, like I said, I didn't get these from the actual Pensacon. There was vendors there with some figures, and they were really expensive. So I went to a place called Marty's Collectibles uh, in Pensacola. It's, it's in uh, about 10 minutes away from where the con was. So I went there after I left the con. I actually had met Marty, the owner, um, before. He had, he had a shop called Price Busters in Pensacola, 
and Price Buster's is still around, but he sold it, then turned around and opened up another shop of just collectibles. Price Buster's is a gaming slash comic shop, but this is straight up collectibles now. So uh, thank you, Marty, for uh, if you're watching by any chance for the uh, awesome deal I got. I uh, love them. But I will go ahead and show you one of my favorite Jedi for some reason. Coleman Triber, the original Coleman Triber, Treber, whatever you want to say. Um, I love Coleman Treber, Treber. Um, I say Treber, but um, I love uh, his character, even though he just gets shot by Jango there, which is kind of appropriate. I didn't even think about that. Wow. But um, uh, even though he just gets shot by Jango, I think he's a cool looking Jedi. He looks weird. I'm, I'm just interested in the weird, cool looking Jedi. Just a huge schnoz there, and then like a shark looking fin thing. But uh, yeah, I love him. I actually have the version from the uh, the Target exclusive two pack from the Geonosian Arena that came with Django. But uh, yes, I have him. I found him today. I wanted to get the original version. Found him. Uh, got that. And the Piss de Resistance. That was stupid. I'm sorry. I'll never do that again. But anyway, it is none other than dun 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 dun. Efent Mon. I've been looking for a good deal on this guy. I've been looking for him ever since he came out as a kid because he just looks so weirdly cool. And this dude is freaking huge. Look how he's huge and he's heavy. But um, I love this guy. I know Coleman Trevor says 10 and this says 15, but um, Marty was just like, give me 20. So I was like, heck yes. 20 for these two? Definitely. Especially for this guy. Um, actually, that Coleman Trevor, the original one, I looked, checked on eBay and he's going for. A decent price now too uh, definitely more than what I paid for both of these but um Ethan Mon uh, I love it he's just so cool he looks really neat the dry brushing and the stuff they did on this figure just looks great he just is a cool looking figure he's so weird that's what makes me attracted to this figure I guess because they're just so weird but um anyway um, this isn't your average Efent Mon. I realized that after I bought him. I, l I looked on eBay and I referenced to what I have here. And this is certainly not a regular Efent Mon. This Efent Mon is from Japan. If, you, if it'll let me. There we go. It's from Japan. And look, look, look. On the back side, we've got a Japanese sticker that usually um, shows other figures in the line down here in their names. But it's a Japanese figure that's or Japanese sticker that's covered up the figures and all the description down there it's it's uh covered up and you can't see it. it's all Japanese and even the way I know this is real is in sealed inside of the card they covered up the Jedi master points with a sticker to make it seem like it wasn't there which I guess in Japan at the time you couldn't collect these Jedi master points and do anything with them but yes I have the Japanese version. I have no idea how this wound up here and it wound up in my hands. Well, it wound up in my hands because of Marty, but um, I have no idea how it wound up in his shop, the Japanese version. That is just crazy. And I did some referencing and I, I don't know. Like, I, all I saw was just the regular US version with the regular age right there in the corner. That's what it looks like normally. <clears throat> Apparently, you could be six in Japan and on this figure. But um, age and then... Uh, the Jedi Master Points are here on this U.S. one. And, of course, well, this is this is laid out a little bit different, but you can see the figures on the bottom. That That is just different. That is cool. So, yeah, that's that's my uh, my recent hauls, and that's uh, my kind of Pensacon video of 2016. I'll probably put up some uh, pictures in this video, like I said. And um, I had a great time. Uh, I ate at uh, last night, which today is Saturday, and it's Saturday night, and I've, I've stopped up. I guess I got sick from somebody, something there. You might can hear. But um, last night, Friday night, I ate at my favorite restaurant, which is McGuire's. It's an Irish pub, but um, they have really awesome food, great steak. Me and my um, uh, one of my best friends, Chase, we uh, had a good time. I work with Chase um, at Staples, but um, we had a good time. We went together, and you'll see uh, some of the pics I'll put up. But uh, thank you guys so much um, for your loyaltyness, and uh, thank you for watching my video. I know this is probably a long video, but yeah, I'll have it up as soon as possible so you guys can see this stuff. But um, let me know what you think about this stuff. Just shoot me a comment down in the comment section. Let me know, uh, especially regarding this Japanese Elephant Man. Elephant Man. This is he a Japanese Elephant Man? But uh, anyway, yeah, so thank you all, and may the Force be with you.